Okay, let's talk a little about hepatitis B. Hepatitis B has a vaccine and so it can be prevented. It has drugs and so it can be treated. In fact, if you do the test for hepatitis B and it shows that you have hepatitis B, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need treatment. No. In fact, most people will overcome an acute infection of hepatitis B on their own without any form of treatment. Yet, hepatitis B is very deadly. Today, we will look at how people get hepatitis B, how to know if you have it, how to treat it, and how to prevent it. Hello, my name is Dr. Malek Haruna King and do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel for free health and wellness videos. Now, hepatitis B is a liver infection caused by the hepatitis B virus HBV and HBV is one of five types of viral hepatitis. The other are hepatitis A, of course B, C, D and E and each of these is a different type of virus. Hepatitis B infection can be acute or chronic. The acute hepatitis B causes symptoms to appear quickly in adults and the chronic hepatitis B develops slowly and over a period of time. The symptoms may not be noticeable unless complications develop. Now, how do people get hepatitis B? Hepatitis B is highly contagious and it can spread through contact with infected blood and certain other bodily fluids. Although the virus can be found in saliva, it is not typically spread through sharing of utensils or kissing. And it also doesn't spread through sneezing coughing or breastfeeding. The symptoms of hepatitis B may not appear for three months after exposure and can last for two to 12 weeks. However, you are still contagious even without symptoms and can transmit it. And the virus can live outside the body, and this is strange, for up to seven days. Possible methods of transmission of hepatitis B include direct contact with infected blood, transfer from mother to baby during birth, being pricked with a contaminated needle, intimate contact with a person with hepatitis B virus, oral, vaginal, and anal sex, using a razor or any personal item with remnants of the infected fluid. Now, how do you know you have hepatitis B? The symptoms of hepatitis B may not be seen even after months. However, the common symptoms include fatigue, dark urine, joint and muscle pain, loss of appetite, fever, abdominal pain and discomfort, weakness, and importantly, yellowing of the whites of the eyes, the white part of the eyes, and yellowing of the skin. Now, any symptoms of hepatitis B needs urgent attention, and doctors usually diagnose hepatitis B with blood tests. So to screen for hepatitis B, your doctor will most likely perform a series of blood tests to confirm if you indeed have it. Now, how is it treated? There is the hepatitis B vaccine, and it is important you talk to your doctor immediately. If you think you have been exposed to hepatitis B within the last 24 hours, if you have not been vaccinated before, you can indeed prevent infection by receiving the hepatitis B vaccine and an injection of HBV immune globulin. And it is important to note that acute hepatitis B usually doesn't require treatment. So if the test shows that you in fact have hepatitis B, it doesn't necessarily mean you need treatment. And most people will overcome an acute infection on their own. Enough rest and hydration will help you recover even faster. Furthermore, there are antiviral medications that can be used to treat 
chronic hepatitis B and these drugs will help you fight the virus and they may also reduce the risk of future liver complications. In worst case scenario, you may need a liver transplant if hepatitis B has severely damaged your liver. Now the take home point here is always work closely with your doctor. So what are some of the common problems hepatitis B can cause? It can cause another infection, hepatitis D infection. It can lead to liver scarring, as you have scars in your liver. It could lead to liver failure. It could lead to liver cancer and ultimately death. How can I prevent hepatitis B? The hepatitis B vaccine is the best way to prevent the infection and vaccination is highly recommended. It typically takes three vaccines to complete the series and it is relatively inexpensive um, a very safe vaccine. Also, use a condom or dental dam when having vaginal or oral sex and see your doctor physically if you have specific personal questions. Did you learn anything new today? Don't forget to hit the like button and stay subscribed and check the description section for a free ebook titled Fire Your Doctor. Take charge of your health and happiness.